checkout services. Step 1. Press Windows plus R to open Run. Step 2. Type services.msc, then hit Enter to open services. Step 3. Look for Windows Driver Foundation, right-click it, and choose Properties. Step 4. On Service Status, change the startup type to Automatic, and if the service status says Stopped, hit Start. Step 5. Select Apply, choose OK and close Windows Driver Foundation. Step 6. Look for Shell Hardware Detection, right-click it, and choose Properties. Step 7. On service status, change the startup type to automatic, and if the service status says stopped, hit start. Step 8. Select apply. Choose OK and close shell hardware detection. Step 9. Close services. Restart your computer and see how things turn out. Update Windows. Step 1. Press Windows. Plus I to open Settings. Step 2. Select Update and Privacy, then go to Windows Update. Step 3. Click Check for Updates, and if an update is available, proceed to download and install it. Step 4. Restart your computer once the update wraps up. Update Drivers Step 1. Press Windows plus X to open Quick Link Menu, then choose Device Manager. Step 2. Expand USB Controller Drivers, sometimes labeled as Universal Serial Bus Controllers. Right-click each of the drivers and choose Properties. Step 3. Go to Driver tab, select Update Driver, and allow the update to run its course. Step 4. Restart your computer. Note, if the problem was caused by a recent update, you will have to roll back the drivers. Repeat Step 1 to Step 3 but instead of Update Driver, you have to select Rollback Driver. Afterward, restart your computer to finalize the changes. Uninstall and reinstall. Step 1. Press Windows plus X to open Quick Link Menu, then choose Device Manager. Step 2. Expand USB controller drivers sometimes labeled as Universal Serial Bus Controllers. Right-click each of the drivers and choose Properties. Step 3. Go to Driver tab, then click Uninstall to get rid of the driver. Step 4. Restart your computer and all the uninstalled drivers should be reinstalled automatically. Replace PSU. If you have the tools and skills, you can check the wattage of the power supply unit. If you notice signs that indicate problems, the best solution is to replace PSU. Safe Mode Step 1. Press Windows plus X to open the Quick Link menu. Step 2. Move your cursor to Shut Down or Sign Out. Then press and hold Shift as you click Restart. Step 3. Select Troubleshoot. Go to Advanced and choose Startup Settings. Step 4. Hit Restart, and when the PC restarts, follow the on-screen instructions to boot your computer into safe mode. Step 5. Determine whether there is anything out of the ordinary in Event Viewer. 